We've got a ridge of high pressure dominating. This means plenty of dry weather and a lot of sunshine for the rest of today. However, that will bring a cold and frosty night tonight. Now here's the pressure picture. We can see this high pressure down in the Atlantic that's dominating our weather. Those winds running clockwise around that high pressure does mean that we've got a fairly cold northeasterly flow across the country. This is making it feel fairly chilly despite any sunshine. So here's the cloud and rain for the rest of the afternoon then. Fairly dry and quite a lot of sunshine as I said for many central parts of the UK. Unfortunately though we do have the remnants of that weather front that pushed through for many of us yesterday, still across the southeast. So plenty of cloud and a few outbreaks of rain there. Some of these turning heavy at times. For the rest of us, though, many um, dry areas, just a few scattered showers around the far northwest of Scotland and a few running down the Irish Sea as well. Now for the rest of the afternoon then, generally holding on to the dry and clear weather, some good spells of sunshine to end the day, but with clear spells as well, that does mean that we'll see fairly widespread mist and fog forming tonight, particularly in valleys, parts of northern Scotland and also northern Ireland. In the far southeast, so unfortunately, we do hold on to that cloud and rain through the night. The rain turning patchy at times, but also a few heavier bursts across places like Kent and East Sussex. Many of us dry though, just a few of those showers hanging on in western areas and one or two of these could turn wintry, but this really just over the hills. So then the temperatures tonight, as we can see, fairly cold temperatures widely for many central parts under the ridge of that high pressure, with light winds and clear skies allowing temperatures to fall away overnight. Now these are the temperatures generally for the towns and cities. We could see temperatures falling one or two degrees below that and especially in rural spots as well, we could see temperatures down to around minus five or so in those prone cold spots. Now winds will be fairly light over the land which allows these temperatures to fall away. However, to the far north and in some coastal areas it will be a little bit more breezy, so temperatures a little bit milder here and under that cloud as well in the southeast. Now for the rest of the night then we can see some rain continuing over that far southeastern corner. A few of these showers gradually dying away for western areas, but many of us staying dry and a nice bright start, but it will be fairly chilly as temperatures struggle to rise through the day. So here we have the maximum temperatures then, only perhaps getting up to 5 to 7 degrees for them, some of those central areas, so once again, a rather chilly feel to the day, despite any sunshine. That's all for me, take care.